My name is Anna Maria Clemen. I'm co-director of Hippocrates Health Institute, and I'm here with Jeffrey Smith, the founder of Institute for Responsible Technology and the author of Seeds of Deception and Genetic Roulette. And Jeffrey, could you explain why genetic manipulation is allowed and who is getting the benefits and disorders from it? GMOs were introduced on the basis of deception, actually. Um, the FDA policy claimed that the agency wasn't aware of any information showing that GMOs were significantly different, and therefore no testing or labeling was necessary. Companies like Monsanto, the big GMO company, could who told us that Agent Orange and PCBs and DDT were safe, could determine on their own if their GMOs are safe and not even tell the FDA or consumers. Now, the person who was in charge of that policy, Michael Taylor, was Monsanto's former attorney, later Monsanto's chief lobbyist and vice president, back at the FDA as the U.S. food safety czar, and the claim that the agency wasn't aware of information showing that GMOs were different was a lie. Um, the documents made public from a lawsuit from the FDA's own files showed that the overwhelming consensus among the scientists working at the FDA was exactly the opposite. They had warned repeatedly that GMOs were dangerous. So we have a situation where the chief beneficiary of genetic engineering are these seed companies, and nearly everyone else suffers as a result. <laughs> so uh, could you also explain all the health concerns and disorders that we empirically know are linked to the consumption of these genetic modified organisms? Well, there, uh, when the American Academy of Environmental Medicine reviewed the animal feeding studies, <clears throat> they said that the animals suffered from gastrointestinal problems, immune problems, reproductive disorders, uh, accelerated aging, organ damage, and dysfunctional regulation of cholesterol and insulin. Um, we can add to that uh, multiple massive tumors, early death, and other things that have happened since that review. Now that's animal feeding studies. When people get rid of GMOs, they report improvements on they, those same parameters as well as mental conditions, weight problems, allergies, asthma, <clears throat> skin problems, um, brain fog, etc. Similar improvement with livestock and pets when they get off of GMOs. Mm -hmm. And when we look at the the disease rates in the United States since GMOs were introduced, the, there are several of these diseases that track parallel with the introduction of GMOs. One of the toxins <clears throat> that's used in GMOs is the herbicide Roundup. It's sprayed on the Roundup Ready crops, and that was linked in a recent um, report to heart disease, obesity, diabetes, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, autism, anorexia, aggression, and depression. Um, among others. <laughs> so how does the average person uh, uh, avoid these false foods? Well, we have a shopping guide designed to answer that question at nongmoshoppingguide.com and at the iPhone application Shop No GMO. It's free. And there's over 10,000 products verified as non-GMO. And there's also the four tips, which is buy products in the guide, buy products that are labeled organic, buy products that are labeled non-GMO, or avoid the at-risk ingredients. And there's nine GM food crops. They're listed in the guide, and also their derivatives. So you have soy, corn, cottonseed oil, canola oil, sugar from sugar beets, alfalfa, which is used as animal feed, papaya from Hawaii or China, or zucchini and, or crookneck squash, yellow squash. Mm -hmm. Those are the only nine right now. <coughs> There's also animal products from animals that are fed those, and aspartame comes from a genetically engineered microorganism. Right. So can you, also, can you also explain for us what you believe the future will bring with this corporate experiment in greed? Well, I actually think we're going to kick it out, um, because I think we're seeing a tipping point of consumer rejection against GMOs. That's how it got kicked out of Europe. Okay. Um, we have a tipping point that kicked GMOs out of most of the natural food industry right now. Bovine growth hormone was kicked out of most American dairies. Um, <clears throat> we have Walmart, no, um, Target has kicked out GMOs or is in the process of kicking out GMOs from its home brand. Um, ben and Jerry's, Chipotle's restaurant, Cheerios from its original brand, um, grape nuts from one of its varieties. So the, these are kind of test cases, the grape nuts and Cheerios. If the market share goes up for those that are non-GMO and down for the competitors, everyone else in the food industry rushes to be non-GMO 
so they don't lose market share when their competitor goes first. Thank you, Jeffrey, for all that you do, and thank you for the time you spent with us. My pleasure. Thank you.